I actually went to school for HR, I went to Sheridan College uh, for HR, and uh, I went into the field for a couple of years. I had to get out because I realized I uh, hated people, but when I got out of it, <laughs> I got out of the industry, and I realized HR and marketing really should work together uh, because I think one of the strongest things you can do in marketing is hire better. That, to me, is the combination of the two, and that's right. I really talk about people and marketing, which is they are the marketers here, and I want to get into that. It's my favorite kid on the internet. This is not my son. My son would not sign the model release, but this is my favorite kid on the internet. Uh, my whole world's about being awesome. I want to tell you a very quick story that uh, uh, I live in planes and on airplanes. This is all I do. Um, a lot of people have real jobs and they speak. I have a, I, I, this is my job. I have the luxury, and I'm so fortunate to speak around the world. I, it's brought me around the world. I was just in Istanbul. Uh, I was in uh, New Delhi, I was in Amsterdam, can't talk about it. I was in England, uh, Hawaii, Bahamas, exotic places, Scarborough, you know, everywhere. It's like you can't believe where I get to go and do these things. And usually since I'm the opening keynote most places, I have to wake up. So I go to the hotel and I call for a wake-up call the night before. You know when you call, right? You press the wake-up button and it's automated. You press 7 and 1 for a.m., 9 for p.m. But when I call, this is in Arizona. This has only happened once. I literally stayed in hundreds and hundreds of hotels over the past few years. And this has only ever happened once. I pressed it and somebody picked up the phone. Have you ever called somebody and not expected them to pick up? You're like, oh, hey, um, can you hang up? I just... I just want to leave you a voicemail. I have no words for interaction right now. Okay, good. She's like, good evening, Mr. Stratton. Wake up call? I'm like, yes, please. Uh, 7.30 uh, in the morning. And she says, and I quote, Ooh, that's really early. Would you like some coffee sent to your room at that time? And I went, we do, we, that is really early. I think I would like some coffee sent to me. And she says, would you like the coffee sent at 7.35? Because I know at 7.30 I'd hate people and I need a few minutes to get ready before somebody came to the door. And I'm like, what? I will hate people at 7.30. I think I will want the coffee at 7.35. And she says, is there anything else? And I'm, nope. She goes, I hope you have a great night and even better tomorrow. And I just went, thank you. I love you, wake up call lady. And I hung up the phone, and sure enough, 7.30, the wake-up call came, and 7.35, the coffee came right to the door. I had no problem paying $87 for the room service coffee, right? <laughs> None whatsoever. There is ROI in being awesome, all right? $87 worth of ROI in being awesome. She can contribute to the bottom line. That is the huge difference for me. Awesome employees are not overhead. Right? The, if the employees are the brand. That's the difference. It's not the logos. I didn't stay at that hotel and said, you know what? The bed was terrible. The room was overpriced. But did you see the logo? It's exquisite. <laughs> the font is perfect. We're going to stay there next month. What we think matters in marketing is not what matters. What matters in marketing is what we do. It's what the employees do. She paid her entire day's pay. One 45-second wake-up call. And what are most wake-up calls now? Automated. You can't automate awesome.